Um, I've had fibroids for about the last six months, so I'm um, very drained and yeah. I'm seeing several fibroids, like five or something, five or six. Mm -hmm. How many? I know there's a few, but I, I don't know exactly. <laughs> you believe that Jesus will take them away? Yes. It's the power of God on you. Come on, get out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They're coming out of you. They're coming out of you. Coming out of you. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe they're gone. I see them. Gone. What did you feel happen? Just power. Power yeah. and energy. I've been having um, fibroids for about six months so i went to um the doctor initially a few months before i came to the meeting because um my periods become extremely heavy extremely painful um i was just uncomfortable all the time I, it was sort of taking over my life um so the um doctor took some blood tests was quite thorough um, and said he'd send me to the hospital for a scan. Um, so at the time of the scan, um, the lady confirmed that it was um, that about five or six small fibroids that were growing inside my womb. I'm seeing several fibroids, like five or something, five or six. Mm -hmm. I had sort of built up a bit of a spirit of fear because um, there is ovarian cancer in my family so although i wasn't happy i had fibroids there was a little bit of a relief that at least it wasn't cancer um so i'd asked at the time what was sort of the procedure going on um the doctor tried or tried some um tablets and the doctor that was supposed to sort of help with bleeding they didn't work had to take iron tablets because this had made my iron count really low um you know, just with the bleeding and permanently exhausted, kind of starting to feel very low with it, not wanting to really socialise, um, permanently having to take changes of clothes, um, you know, protection with me everywhere when um, just fear that, you know, this problem would just sort of manifest itself in an embar in embarrassing way wherever I went. Um, and it was just getting more and more, you know, the bleeding was going on for longer and longer and longer. Um, so by the time I came to um, the mark, just, came if you just wait a minute. So it, it had affected your life that seriously. Yes. And you really, taken. what about your work and relationships? I mean, um, I'd, um, I'm divorced. So at the time, I kind of um, didn't really want to contemplate the thought of um, dating. Um, I didn't want to socialise that much with friends. I'm quite a sociable person, but even going to church, I'd go to church and come straight home because it was just, I felt safe at home in case something happened. Um, yeah, I was, I was permanently exhausted at work. I'm, I'm training to be a counsellor, which I'm due to qualify in July um, so doing both it was just exhausting as well as having this problem I needed so much energy just to keep going with the amount of stuff I was doing and this was just depleting me of everything yeah. um, so how did you hear about the meeting um, I'd previously gone to Mark Heeman's meeting the year before with some friends in November okay. and a friend of mine had received an absolutely mind-blowing amazing um, healing she got healed of being blind in her right eye oh, which nice. um to witness that and to be there was just it, it felt surreal it, it it was if yeah i can't describe how it felt just to witness that you know yeah. um, amazing so yeah so um, yeah so god is good and you know and uh, i drove her home and all the way home she was like i can see everything you know um, <laughs> you know she could see all the lights she could see everything on the road um you know and it was 
it was amazing to be there when that happened. So um, uh, there's so the friend said to me that Mark was back in England, you know, just thinking, well, God can, I knew God can do miraculous things through my friends. I've had other kind of amazing supernatural experiences. So I was thinking it, it can't hurt, <laughs> you know, to have faith and to, um, you know. So you came in faith. Prayer. Yeah, to ask for prayer. Um, the meeting was kind of well underway. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of powerful stuff going on around me, people being touched by the fire of God, people lying on the floor, you know, people screaming. Um, you know, not that I want to frighten anyone, but you know, it was very it was a very powerful meeting as yeah. you know, his meetings tend to be. Praise God. So the power um, of God was at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was standing next to a girl as I was sort of in the in the in the queue to be paid, yeah. prayed for and she'd had healing on her eyes as well so that was amazing that was sort of a instant that she could tell the difference um you know so mark asked what i wanted prayer for and uh, i told him about the five i said i've been having fibroids for the last six months mm. and he confirmed what the scan said he said yeah there's five i can see five or six fibroids Okay, so he said that specifically. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Because five boys can manifest themselves in different ways, can't they? It can be sort of, yeah, so. Um, um, I've had five broids for about the last six months, so I'm very drained and, yeah. Nice. I'm seeing several fibroids, like five or something, five or six. Mm -hmm. How many? I know there's a few, but I, I don't know. Exactly. So he commanded him to go. Um, he breathed on me, um, and I sort of staggered back a little. You believe that Jesus will take him away? Yes. It's the power of God on you. Come on, get out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they're coming out of you. They're coming out of you. Coming out of you. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe they're gone. I, I see it. Gone. What did you feel happen? Just power, power yeah. and energy. That night, and I felt the cramp, cramping at ease. And then when I got home, I noticed the bleeding had stopped. Yeah. I didn't want to get my hopes up too much in case yeah. it started again. So um, I thought, I'll wait and wait. And then the next day, all clear. And then a week, all clear and then just you know and then i could have faith that everything had kind of gone back to normal um you know so i can confirm now that that was last october we're in may now and everything is back to normal how how it should be um it took a while to get my iron levels back up to where they should be but i'm feeling energized again now feeling more joyful i can enjoy life I'm in the early stages of dating, um, you know, so, um, yeah, God, God is so good. And, you know, it's um, when I've told a couple of non-Christian friends what happened, it's like, well, you know, sometimes these things are happen. I said, well, no, they, they don't just happen. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing what God has done. So praise God, Haley. We rejoice with you. It's amazing what yeah. God has done. You know, for people who don't know, you know, you say fibroids, but what, what are they? Um, they're non-cancerous um, growths. So they grow usually inside um, the womb. Yeah. And they don't usually go away on their own. Yeah. Um, and so... And they tend to just grow and grow and grow. Um, and usually the only way to um, be cured medically of this is a hysterectomy, which I was getting to the stage where I thought, if this is the only way I'm going to be free of this, then I'm going to ask the doctor for a hysterectomy because I just wanted to be free of it. Um, I don't think... Yeah. Um, I don't think people kind of 
understand just how much this condition takes over your life. What advice would you give to anyone having the same problem? Maybe. I'd just say just trust God, yeah. you know, don't allow the enemy through this condition to um, bring you down. You know, you can, it makes you feel so tired that sometimes the joy feels like it's been zapped mm. out of you. You know, but just trust God that he can do this. He can heal this. Yeah. Um, you know, that this or any other condition. Yeah. Um, nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is too trivial for God because it's not really a condition that people will see, um, you know, on the outside. Yeah. They might not know this is what, what you're going through. Um, you know, so whatever the condition, whether it's, um, you know, a condition that's just slightly affecting you or really impacting your life, mm. just trust that God doesn't want you to have that condition. No. It's not his plan for your life. But go forward for prayer. Trust the Lord. Jesus healed um, a woman, you know, in, in the Bible where she'd been suffering for 12 years you know perhaps she had fibroids we don't know what was yeah, the problem, do we but um you know they didn't have scans in those days to tell people what the problem is um you know and she just touched the hem of his coat that's all that took so just that slight mustard mm. seed of faith can god can work on